come spend a couple of rainy days with me in Mexico City. Hi, my name is Ivana. I'm in my 30s and I'm a bookworm who loves to roam. This is my second time in Mexico City and this time I'm visiting with three friends. It really has been a dream to spend nearly two weeks here. Mexico City is vibrant, gorgeous, and so punk rock. Today we're having a plain breakfast at a little restaurant. We're feeling up for some expected and maybe some unexpected adventures. So I'm not getting a tattoo, but Mary-Kate is, and potentially Kat. Thurin. Potentially. <laughs> And we're just gonna go to a new neighborhood and see where the day takes us. I'm here with Kat. Hi. I'm really anxious. Don't be anxious. <laughs> so excited to bring you along for the ride. This was very unexpected. We're going in. We're doing it. Que bueno. What are you naming it? A lot of people have asked me why I got a little ear of corn or a mazorquita or elotito and I just really love corn in all of its forms and I love how it's connected to my culture. And sometimes that's really all there is to it. We did it! Tomorrow the other cats. We're going to a bookstore now near the Chapultepec forest and it's gonna be really cute hopefully. I hope you can hear me! Adrenaline's gone. Ahora voy, ahora voy. at the forest. Wish us luck. Getting tacos for the third or fourth time? It's sixth. 
uh, at our favorite place. We're, we're locals there now. Apparently. Yep, yep, we know the way. We don't need to Google Maps that. <laughs> board game store, not a bookstore. Like Absolutely not. <laughs> La calle más linda. Always walking 60 steps ahead of me. No pressure, but pressure. Better be good. That's cute. Is this a cartoon? cartoon? Like a known cartoon? I don't know. Se parece a la muchachita de Persepolis. It's like the same style. Should I get it too? Get both. It's our second to last day? Exactly. Dale, I'll do it. I'll yes. Do it. Oh my god, you're so easy to peer pressure. This is delightful. <laughs> I'm gonna be a tattooed tote bag. Wow. Really. A whole new person. Yep. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to talk to the camera, but I'm tired. So I will see you tomorrow. Gotta watch some YouTube. Well, I got my tattoo yesterday, but Kat and Kat are getting tattoos. We're waiting for our breakfast and we're gonna go to the market. I keep the color. It looks like it's wearing a sweater. And un collar, a choker necklace. Again, again. <laughs> That's what I have to deal with. Can you say that again? That your womb is a place of creative energy and you can birth art. Oh yeah. You that was there. beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful, Sheila. Thank you so much. <laughs> Buenos dias. Buenos dias. We are getting coffee while the cats get tatted. So we're thinking about how we 
are women in our 30s getting corn and snake tattoos and coffee and that's what we do. Just hanging out across North America. Growing up, and even when I was in my 20s, I had a very rigid idea of what I wanted my future to look like. And I'm so lucky that I've been able to break out of that. I love being in my 30s, having the confidence and stability to do what I want and to not feel bad about it. Three. Mwah. <laughs> On our way to the market to get last minute goodies. So we've been successful and we are hopefully headed home soon. hello i hope you enjoyed the footage and the reflections it's been a few days since we've gotten back i feel so privileged to have been able to take that trip i also am coming to you with a haul of books that i bought in mexico city all of these books i bought in spanish but are available in english so they all have been translated and i also want to show you like some of the stuff that i got there too i'm not going to show you everything but some highlights also update on the tattoo it is healing beautifully i'm so happy with it i realized after i got it that i wear a lot of overalls and i don't want to look like farmer ivana so i need to get more right it's only logical that i get more <laughs> so the first book i got i actually fully read there and i had been looking forward to this book for a while and it is invincible verano de liliana or liliana invincible summer honestly the cover i'll insert the cover here but the cover in english and even the u.s spanish cover kind of made it look like a YA book about swimming because it's a girl like diving in a pool and it makes sense later like why that is but I really like this this is Liliana Rivera Garza who is Cristina Rivera Garza's sister Cristina Rivera Garza wrote the Iliad Crest she is a literary fiction author and unfortunately her sister was murdered she was a victim of femicide or feminicidio in the summer of 1990 where she said she was gonna have her invincible summer it is nearly 30 years later when Cristina Rivera Garza decides to write this book she started to to dig deeper into Liliana's life. The wound had been too fresh and so finally in 2019 she decided to go through all of Liliana's stuff. Liliana was a prolific journaler and it's a 90s so there are no text messages or anything like that but she goes through different documents different letters and paints a picture of where Liliana was at during that time and where her friends and her boyfriends were at it was an interesting book to read in Mexico City because she describes all the streets and I was like oh my god I was just in Amsterdam Street and as the book progresses it gets better and better you get to see interviews from people that Liliana knew and it isn't until like the 200 page mark where she tells you what actually happened so it's just like gripping it's thrilling it's creative nonfiction at its very best it's a really personal humanizing true crime story i think there's a lot of true crime out there that's very clickbaity and not very respectful of the victims and she does a really good job of exploring who Liliana was and honoring who she was while also telling us what happened and telling us that that's the fate of way too many women in, in Mexico but also across the world. I don't want to give too much away but this book does talk about like the importance of language and how there wasn't any language 
to describe violence against women or gendered violence and it talks about the importance of that i'm not gonna say what happened to the person who is presumed to be her murderer i just really think that everybody should read this and it's really like one of my favorites of the year and it's really making me want to read more nonfiction. the other three books i have not read i started this one though and it's called matate amor Honestly, Ivana's translation is kill yourself, my love, but the translation in English is die, my love. But we're not going to get into Spanish grammar. <laughs> this is written by Ariana Harwicks, who is a Argentine woman, and she wrote this trilogy called the... I don't remember the name of the trilogy, but it's something like... I'm gonna put it over here but it's something about like it was unintended and she created a trilogy this book is blurred by samantha schweblin it is so funny i would not have gotten it if it wasn't for cat from cat's field notes who pointed it out and we were like obsessed over the cover and essentially it is about motherhood and a woman who is unhappy in her marriage unhappy in motherhood she has to do everything and it's very biting it reminds me of Elena Ferrante a little bit, except it's like spunkier. I love it already and I can't wait. I'm buddy reading this with both cats. The next book is also a Cats Field Notes recommendation and it is La Hija Única by Guadalupe Nettel or Stillborn is how it's translated in Spanish. It's about three women who are considering motherhood, I believe. I thought it was about two and apparently some weird shit happens. I can't wait to actually get into this one. The last book I got, you saw me get, and it is Agua Viva by Clarice Lispector. I got it in Spanish because we were at a Clarice Lispector cafe. Duh, I had to get it. It's funny because I asked the cashier, like, is she pretentious? Like, I want to read her, but is she pretentious? And Lady was like, well, she might come off as pretentious to some people. And I was like, okay, she is. <laughs> so we'll see what I think about it because I normally don't read like literary, literary books but I am excited and this might be a good one for my 10 years, 10 decades challenge that I have not been keeping up with. Some other finds, I found this Persepolis toad that I didn't even know it as a Persepolis toad, but I was like, ooh, that looks like Persepolis. And then Mary Kay let me know that it was. And it says punk is not dead. And I just kept talking about how Mexico City is so punk rock and other people disagreed with me. I think it's super punk rock. Some other things that I got, I got these bracelets. One of them is textured and the other one isn't. Nice little contracts. These are our friendship bracelets. We got a few dainty rings. I also got this silver bracelet with Lit With Cat. It feels weird calling people by their usernames. In real life, I call Lit With Cat Kathy and Cat's Field Notes Catherine. Oh, I also got these cute little bracelets too with charms. I also got these like medallion earrings, which are really fun. Give me kind of 80s vibes. I got two hearts on fire and this is my favorite. Like, how cute is that? How cute is that? Can't wait to hang it up. And then I got like 10 different stickers. This Triste Payasa one. Little cat with a cactus. Another cat. And then I also got a patch with a jaguar. And I want to put it on my bag so bad, but I like don't know anything about patches. Could you let me know? Is this a sew-on patch or a iron-on patch? I really don't know. But I think it's so cute. I want to put it on my brown bag room. Yeah, that's it. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. I feel like it's such an honor to have gotten to know folks on the internet and to have these like wonderful opportunities to hang out with my friends who also enjoy reading. This was such a good way to end the summer and I cannot wait to see what other things are in store for us. And I'm hoping that you are also having a good summer. Peace. Buenos dias. <laughs> I cannot be on video. Like I am not good at this. I don't know what to do. <laughs>